God's sake, I will garbage. All right, lads, welcome back to another video. And today I'm actually going to critique myself for a change to show you that uh, even me, who you come to for advice, actually made the same mistakes back when I first started this a year ago. And it's only very recently that I started learning more and more rules and how things look nice over doing a design every day for the last year, almost. You miss one or two here and there. It is also, if I might seem a bit sweaty, it is a million degrees in my house because the sun has not stopped shining for two days straight. Got sunburned yesterday and everything, so being Irish is tough in the sunshine. And yeah, what we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with this absolutely garbage Jacob Stockdale picture. I don't know exactly what I was going for with this one. I think it was more that I wanted to have a slightly spray painted effect on a brick wall. Didn't work. I've never tried it again. I've never even gone near that sort of thing. But I think it was the start of my whole concrete kind of effect that I'd have going on. I tried to do a bit of extra texture and I completely got, got it all wrong and kind of ruined it and scared it for me. But there's more than that issue in this picture on its own. Colors don't make sense. Like he's got a lovely red jersey on. And uh, I've got this rotten, browny, reddy colour in behind them, along with that weird faded away background. And lettering isn't printed onto the wall properly. If I wanted to fade it onto the wall, that's just, it's just not done well. But in fairness to me, at least I was able to cut them out okay. There's some bits here and there that are a problem. But as you can see, I've made the same mistake as well, where I've cut off the bottom of his feet. That's something that I tell ye not to do. It takes away. And I've also done it in a square aspect ratio, which isn't great for designs on Instagram. And I did do that for a long time, probably about six months of me doing squares before I realized doing the 1080 by 1350 was the more ideal way of doing things. The saturation of colors on him, it, it's just the way I say do less to make it look better, to make it less noise. This is what happens when you don't do enough. And I didn't know about curves or affecting lighting or anything like that. So the picture itself is actually uninteresting to look at. It's not nicely smoothed out. I essentially just cut out a photo from a photographer and just put it on top of a brick wall, which is garbage. I've also done the bottom right hand corner. I can see that I've left my logo mark before I had a logo, just my name too close to the edges as well. So framing wasn't a thing to me back then either. So when I tell you to keep things in from the edge, I'm not pretending that I've always done that. It's something that I've learned that looks better. And it is it is true that it just looks better when things have breathing space around the edge. At least I have my text kind of based in the middle and it's touching either side of the corner, but the top has a bit too much breathing room for that kind of effect. That's the least of the worries in this picture. Luckily, the rest of the pictures in this, this is probably one of my worst designs. Going up from this, it will get better. This picture of James Lowe was actually one of my first edits ever posted and it was because I recently posted a picture of James Lowe on my actual Instagram account and I liked it but it was also kind of stupid just being on my real Instagram account under my name so I decided to do another one and post it on this sports creative account to me this still looks okay but obviously we can do a bit better I would like better lighting to be done on the player his hair isn't cut out very well because James Lowe has long hair so it was an absolute nightmare to cut out in one of my first ever edits on this stuff but in terms of where the text is placed the background is okay but I would prefer if the player himself stood out a bit more if I did a bit better shadowing of the background. Cutting off the bottom of the player was okay in this case because I cut off enough of them that I'm not like leaving anything to the imagination and the text placement of low and the 11 it's done fairly well but again I'm doing it in a square aspect ratio and a portrait like this would look better in portrait mode rather than uh, the square aspect ratio that I still have here. It is fairly okay blended in the background but apart from that it is relatively okay one for the start if people beginning were able to do things like this they'd be fine and they'd be well capable of getting a lot better a lot quicker and any improvements i'm able to point out you could get better a lot quicker from this but again the player himself it is literally just cut out i didn't do any edits to his face any light effects no curves no nothing it's very bland very boring but this still back then would have taken me probably an hour to two hours to do because i was just starting out doing this sort of stuff so i was still getting used to it this one of ty furlong is another fair important one back then again it's okay it was the first milestone of the account i suppose you could say because it was the first post i had with over a hundred likes ever and that was a massive deal to me at the time because i was like what people are starting to like my stuff what unreal people are actually bothering to look at my account and i've never done this thing of where i spam comments or ask to be shared by people or anything i would just kind of let it naturally grow so being able to get 100 likes like that naturally was a pretty big deal to me when everyone's doing these follow for follow like for like garbage that i would 100 percent advise not to do i'll 
probably put out a video on how to start an Instagram account properly for people who are doing sports graphic design like this because all I see is people like nearly begging to go check out their accounts or doing a follow for follow, like for like and if you're into that you're going to burn out so quickly because you're not going to get the engagement that you want because it just doesn't work like that. But this design itself, back to this, uh, this design itself was it's fairly good i had the idea of having a smoky effect in behind them now the smoke isn't done perfectly it's probably just a brush set that i used to have i don't have it anymore because i've moved computers since but it again the cutout was done pretty well but there are a good bit of improvements especially with lighting and how i would create depth in this photo it would be a bit different the way i desaturated him and not the jersey it's kind of a thing i keep doing still so i can see that but i've gotten a lot better at it again the player is still boring. I didn't know lighting effects. I didn't know anything. I have this one effect in there of the smoke. Could do with a bit more pizzazz to make it interesting. And again, I did the same mistake of putting it down the bottom right hand corner and it's in a square aspect ratio. When things like this, that, this picture would look way better if it was in a 1080 by 1350 because the smoke would take up more space but i didn't know about that back then here's a picture that i actually really liked at the time and i still do like the kind of style of it of where i did a nice shadow down the bottom and it's kind of given a bit of depth with the line going down the middle and it's getting dark but i didn't do the back shadows correctly and the player is a bit better edited in this one with lighting and stuff this is where i probably started using uh, the black brush to overlay some shadows and stuff like that whereas now i'm using curves instead in conjunction with the black brush because it'll give a more realistic effect but i haven't given any light source in the background at all for this all the light source is on him and, and then the shadow on the floor uh, the text is actually well done here and the use of the colors see i've learned from the jacob stockdale issue of i'm actually using the colors involved in the jersey to keep the theme of the post the same which is important because if there's too much colors too much going on it does cause issues and it makes everything look really noisy really busy You've got the red white and gray and that's kind of it maybe a bit of accent on his boots but there's not much you can do about that and the player himself is actually nicely centered and again 1080 1350 would be ideal for this i can't clap loud because i don't want to disturb the people in the house imagine the embarrassment someone walking in when you're filming a youtube video yeah again you can see my background has the marbly effect and overall okay but improvements can be made and there's no logo on it so people could steal this away and the thing that set my account apart from nearly every other rugby account at the time was i was probably one of the first people to start doing graphics with ultimate team cards and there's a couple of accounts doing it now since that's grand like i don't own the rights to ultimate team cards but i can still hold that I was one of the first to start rating players off the top of my head no less and uh, it's it's a great piece and it's really good now this itself isn't a great piece the card's too small I put it at an angle to try and make depth but it didn't really work Connor Murray's kind of edited well and that element that's in behind him does give it a bit more depth so I'm, as you can see I'm starting to get better at using depth and uh, incorporating different elements into photos and graphics but the card itself is what's meant to be the important part of this image along with the player and I've made that really small and it's kind of hard to read this is what really kicked off the account with more comments and then more people seeing it and more people sharing it and i kind of went along but now obviously i would do this a bit differently and i would make the card larger and take it in from the edge a bit again with my logo i'm starting to get a bit better at inching it in but again you can start seeing i'm starting to use shadows again with the player and the cutout was kind of is getting better i'm obviously getting more used to it and you can see where my account is now in comparison to this you can kind of see the journey i suppose it's been on over the year and bringing it into this first card where then i got new card templates and new this just to make things look better and up it a little bit at a time so you can see in this card like the template's kind of a bit off we have scrum half and then murray the name is kind of squished on the top and as i said it's kind of hard to read just due to the size of it like the reason why i'm doing this and going through it is that i hope it helps you understand that you're not going to be brilliant at this from the start most of these pictures would be at the level of the stuff that i get sent in there'd be this last one and the will addison one i would say would be a bit above the most that would be sent in but the other ones like your the low the furlong and the jacob stockdale one are either at the standard or below the standard i'm getting sent in but it shows that if you just keep working at it keep tweaking it you'll eventually become class like me no but seriously if you keep working on it every day and hone the craft i suppose you will get better at this and you will start seeing where you can improve yourself because i had no one to be able to critique my work when doing this and hopefully me being able to put this stuff out there 
helps you in what you're doing and of course if you ever want me to review your stuff use the hashtag TSC review and I'll be able to see it then on Instagram and I go through them once a week create a video that's like this but with your stuff and it'll be helpful and I won't call them crap and I won't call them garbage or anything like that I'll actually try critique you fairly and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something from it and some hints and tips and I'll see you next time good luck